Hello everyone, great to have the pleasure of your company here at Bramall Lane. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Sheffield United and they take on Coventry City. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. That's how the lineup looks for Sheffield United. Oliver Norwood starts alongside John Fleck in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, it's like for like here, so whichever team wins more of the key battles will probably come out on top. I think this should be a tight game. Thank you for attending today's game at Bramble Lane. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. Jake Bidwell. And an astute piece of defending. Oliver McBurney. And now with Baldock. Just cutting off the supply. Josh Eccles. Into the advanced position. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. George Baldock. Now McBurney. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. Oh, what, what a chance this is, Derek. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Gustavo Hamel. Kieran Clark. Stevens. It's with John Fleck. And Clark on the ball. Osborne. Well, the supporters think it's on. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Jonathan Panzo. Bidwell. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. John Fleck. Stevens. McBurney. And that was a very fine read.
Osborne. Oliver McBurney. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, they've given him too much space. Chief. Excellent defending. Oliver McBurney. Jamie Allen. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Norwood. Now McBurney. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Excellent ball over the top. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Oliver Norwood giving it a try and a fantastic diving save <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate Half time then, the first half has come to an end here in South Yorkshire. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had... So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Kieran Clark. It's with John Fleck. Osborne. John Fleck now with Stevens Kieran Clark Norwood intelligent threaded pass here McBurney oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack Ben Sheath and he's made headway and it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So the ball is rolling again at one all. George Baldock. John Fleck. Well, those stats don't surprise me. Sheffield United have certainly had more of the ball, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Indeed, and looking to make good use of their possession this time. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Waghorn. Hammer. 
Now Martin Waghorn. And successfully cut out. Can he put them ahead? Well, the challenge was clean, but the danger not cleared. Sharp. John Fleck. And he read it well defensively. 20 minutes to go in this one. Ben Sheaf. Into the advanced position. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Stevens. And Clark on the ball. Osborne. Can they find a gap in the defence? They'll try to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Bidwell. O'Hare with it. Level pegging, but can they change that? Oh, big opportunity. Keeper getting the touch. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Osborne. Sheffield United couldn't hang on to it. Waghorn. Ben Sheaf. O'Hare with it. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Norwood. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Attacking though they might be. And the referee blows for full time, bringing this contest to an end. A frustrating experience for Sheffield United. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.